about now? How about now? How about now? Testing one, two. Testing. Am I on the interwebs? Good morning. Good morning. Let's see. That button's there. There, there. there we go. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's streaming day on this channel. I apologize for not being here last week. I was sick. I am uh I am still not well. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um just cough that won't go away. Lung stuff. It's just oh. Anyway. So apologies if I still sound a little optimist or something here. And um that is such an epic piece of artwork. Yes, Drew. Yes, it is. That's why, like, as soon as Adam posted this, I'm like, I'm like, dude, you have to send me this. <laughs> How much do I pay you to color this? How does this work? <laughs> you know? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Inhaled too much stylus dust. Yes, all, all those times in the mines. Yeah. Um, I didn't do a countdown today, so I'm going to wait, like, a few minutes before we get going. Um, if you're just joining, welcome. I guess everybody's just joining. Uh, I'm actually wondering as I'm sitting here, I'm like, did I take the nighttime or daytime Robitussin? Which, I hope it was the right one. Because that was like right before I got on the stream. It's like, all right. Maybe my voice will last. But anyway, how's everybody doing? Everything okay? You feeling better? No? <laughs> well, I'm better than I was last week. I'm still not well. It's hanging around. It's got the ugh, and it's ugh. Yeah, all that stuff is... Yeah. But, uh... But, yeah, so this drawing this week that I'm going to be coloring um, was drawn by the lovely and talented Adam Gorham, who... Uh, we did the Blue Flame together, if you guys remember that. Uh, it just came out in the trade, by the way, not too long ago. It's a 10 issues, self-contained story. Uh, very uh, emotional, very uh, um, entertaining, action-packed. It's all sorts of things. Uh, anyway, uh, you have the trade. Have you finished it yet? Have you read it yet? you got to let me know what you think. But anyway, uh, Adam and I met on that book, and uh, and I love, love coloring Adam's work because I think Adam, as far as lighting goes, I posted this on Twitter the other day. Like, I think he has my lighting award. Like, my, uh, <laughs> for lighting, shadows, whatever you want to call it. Because uh, I, I want to do a little bit of a, I'm going to start trying to do more of this if I can remember, uh, to actually do a little breakdown on the art. I've been doing a little bit more of that lately. Um, I think it's one thing I, I, I could have done a better job of probably in the past than just jumping in and kind of um, with with all of my intentions up here but not really out there to you guys. Um, but anyway, there was a couple things about this one I wanted to point out before we get started. And as always, if you have questions, feel free to ask. This is very informal <laughs> and there's no, uh, uh, just no, no backseat coloring. That's about the only rule. Um, rule, uh, guideline, we'll say. Hey, Isabel, how's it going? Hey, Jason, Chris, everybody, welcome. Um, so first off, I want you to notice the, just the textural differences in like the background and foreground. Um, uh, Adam is working traditionally here. I'm relatively certain, <laughs> maybe with some digital, well, maybe not. I think even this is white paint, uh, the little lightning bolts. But um, this was traditionally done with an actual airbrush. Um, is Because uh, I asked him, the, the first page of the Blue Flame that I ever got, and it had all this airbrush, and I, I couldn't, I had never seen art like it, much less been asked to color it. And so I was like, uh. But no, no, I, I figured it out eventually. But um, real airbrushing, which I love. Um, but the, the textural differences first, what I mean is like he's using some look, ink washes, it looks like, in the background to kind of dirty it up, a lot of airbrushy, uh, you know, messiness. 
But on uh, Galactus himself, he's doing this very intentional, very subtle, soft shadow. Okay, it's very different um, from, and I'm talking about this main light source, which I'm considering Silver Surfer to basically be the light source down here. Um, I, I did ask Adam a little bit more about this. Um, he did say he intended it to be lit by Surfer and also the lightning in his hands. You can sort of see, you know, there's some lighting on the inside of his hands. His eyes also glow. That can toss a little light around. But it's really this soft shadow that I want to focus on because to me it's what makes, it's really what's going to make, it, what, what does make this uh, an, an incredible piece is just that contrast of, it feels like a soft light. Like he is surrounded by lightning bolts and all this super bright, harsh, you know, there's some harsh shadows all over the place, but but that soft lighting on the chest, it just, it gives a character to the lighting that uh, is, to me, is rare to me. Um, and uh, it's so very subtle. I don't know if, hopefully all this is coming across on the stream. I think it is. But you can see just how, uh, some of this airbrush work is and I, I'm just I'm blown away and uh, Adam's work is incredible and I'm so glad that he doesn't mind me bugging him every couple of weeks <laughs> be like hey can I can I do this anyway but yeah so that a uh, shout out Adam though uh, I got a link to his Twitter in the uh, description so check it out and um uh, end after end number eight is out today. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> the other book I'm working on currently is out today. Uh, I, I, my schedule is is uh, I, I forgot about that one, but yeah, end after end number eight. Check it out. SES Powerlifting says I ain't doing nothing. This place till the stream is over. Yeah, apologies to all the uh, IT people or or the lack of IT things happening for the next couple of hours wherever he works. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another copy of this canvas over here. And we'll line that up with my camera like it, like it's cool. And then we'll hit that button. And we can do it a little bit bigger. Perfect. So now when people stumble in here, they're like, what is he doing? When I'm like zoomed up on a knuckle or something. Are colors generally freelancers or do they work at agencies in-house? They are generally freelancers. So I'll explain the uh, layers here too before we get going. Um, the inks are on a transparent layer on top. It was made transparent by clicking this button that says convert brightness to opacity, which you can also find here under edit, convert brightness to opacity. Uh, and then there's just the base, which is really what we're seeing now. There are the flats, which um, not a lot to flat on this one, just the background and then the separations on Galactus. Um, and what is that? That is nothing. <laughs> that is an extra layer. Uh, that is an extra layer. And this is just like that um, silhouette or whatever. And I'll lock that just because, you know, we'll be grabbing that. I'll be grabbing that selection often, <laughs> probably. So, but my theory on this one, because of that very soft lighting on his, on his chest and on the front of Galaxis, Galaxis, Galactus, it gave me the idea... Again, and I think this is kind of ba this is based on what Adam's intentions are. This is my idea. But if we go really crazy bright, insane in the background, especially around his hands and or whatever, really, really intensify the background, make it nuts with lots of colors, lots of intensity, um, something really saturated, very intense, um, and then flip that to just the opposite of what uh, I would say we normally do, which is to, um, uh, you know, instead of saturating things coming forward, we'll just flip it. So saturate the background and flip uh, uh, Galactus to be really desaturated, very dark, uh, except for the places where the lights are, uh, are, are hitting him. Because 
we're not really going to be able to help sell this wonderful effect that Adam's drawn in here uh, with of all these lightning and all these things if, if Galactus is also bright, okay? And the other thing that having uh, Galactus dark does is it lets us make Silver Surfer light, which is, you know, I, I guess that's not a... Uh, I guess that shouldn't be like a shocker or anything, but... Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, is if um, if we can kind of base it off of this, um, that's kind of my thinking. So, uh, and I had someone recently tell me, it's like, you know, or asked, like, well, don't you normally, you know, what would it look like in reverse to, to play with saturation like this? Well, that's what we have here, <laughs> basically. Um, and let's see, Galactus's powers seem to vary. I, I've seen them pink. I've seen them uh, purple. I, I don't know if there's like a current uh, canon or something, but that is sort of important. So um, my thinking is that... Let's see. I'm definitely seeing a lot of pink on the energy from him. I don't know if anybody wants to confirm or deny or like, oh, I'm a huge Galactus fan. It's pink when he's doing this and then not, because I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's something that we can... Um, we can even kind of figure out. Well, no, we need to figure that out. I think if I'm going to do his, his eyes seem to glow pink a lot. I don't know how I can take a villain wearing pink, seriously. Sounds like you're being sexist or misogynist or something there. Uh, sure you can. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm looking at, at a lot of Galactus stuff, and uh, yeah, that like pink fuchsia magenta colored lighting is, I think, what we'll do on the lightning. Um, but that'll come later. All right, so I have a brush, it's a hue. I call it hue jitter because that's what it does. It jitters the hue. Um, randomize per stroke. What I want to do is I want to fill the background with a bunch of different colors just to um, kind of as a base. And then we'll manipulate the values of those colors and play around with them. But I just want to dirty up the background with a bunch of stuff. I don't want the saturation changing a lot. If I set the hue to 180, that means that it's gonna literally jump all over the wheel. It could it could be any color on the wheel. If I lower it to like 90, it's gonna stay within like a 90 degree section of the color picker, which to me sounds about right. So I'm gonna say like, I don't know, it's like 70-ish. Uh, that's just, this is the amount that it's going to change with every stroke. Saturation, again, I don't think I want to change saturation very much. And I don't want the luminosity to change very much. And let's see what this looks like. Again, this is just going to be like a base that... Um, do this on a new layer so we can... Let's see, is that actually... Well, I'm starting very dark. That's where the problem is. So let's start like there. Yeah, this is kind of what I was looking for. I just want stuff. I don't really care about the specifics of the stuff. <laughs> But uh, what this will do is give me something just interesting to start with. And uh, 
but you can see the range is kind of like purple to orange. And then once once you get it like in the ballpark of like like oh well that's a little interesting. Well then we'll just switch over to a regular old brush. And I'll grab from what's here. Kind of fill in here and there. And I'm staying mostly um, on the warm side, I think. Because I do want him to be re relatively cooler and darker. And it's kind of all over him too, but that's fine. We can always work with that. And uh, I'm going to saturate all of this stuff a lot more than I have it. Almost to the point of being garish because we're going to be doing stuff over the top of this. So yeah, I would say about right there. I'm also going to go ahead, control Y, and make sure that I've got a CMYK preview on because that's going to really change those purples. Actually, I'm going to desaturate this a little bit. Yeah, and you can also see in the inks that I think the bottom is meant to be very bright and then get darker, and then it's brighter again around his hands and eyes and surfer and all that stuff. So... What color do we want to go with there? Yeah, something like that. How's everybody doing? Everybody all right? I'll eventually blow this up a little bit. Sorry, everything's kind of small at the moment. Um, I'm wondering, I'm going to scribble some stuff in here on top of this real quick, and then come back to this, because I don't know if I wouldn't prefer this sort of thing. Yeah, maybe we'll do blue. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> um, I'm going to merge all this stuff I've done in the background so far onto one layer. Let's change that a little bit. New question, if all of your flats are on a single layer, doesn't that make switching between selections harder? I don't know. A lot of people believe that, <laughs> and it's a good question. But here are my flats. Everything is separated, right? One layer. It's set as a reference layer. That's important. My one is set to selection for referred layers, which is kind of bad English. It should be selection from 
reference layer or something like that. Because everywhere that I click, re even though I'm not on my flats, I'm going to get a selection from my flats because it's using the reference layer as a reference layer. So selections are very easy. Um, it's a very common misconception on digital art YouTube that all of your components need to be on separate layers for some reason. Um, it's, it's, it, I think it's workarounds in the software people are using maybe or something. But then they'll do it in Photoshop or CSP too, so. You know, it's just different strokes. <laughs> different, uh, different, uh, what's the word? Processes, I guess you could say. I'm gonna leave the background alone for now. It's not done, but it's where it needs to be for now. And I'm getting all of Galactus selected. I gotta try this. My layers are out of control. Yeah, yeah. There, there. Unfortunately, there's just is a lot of crap information about making art on YouTube. Uh, when it comes to layers. Like, oh, well, to start off with, we're going to put each eyelash on a separate layer. The eyeballs are going to be on a layer. And then the mustache, we'll put that on a layer. And I'm like, <sighs> kids. Kids these days in their, in their layers. It's probably what happens when you use Procreate and don't know any better. Like, that's the workaround is clipping masks. And when your selection tools suck, you just add more layers. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to make, speaking of, of too many layers, um, I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to set it to like a cool dark gray. Because as a base for... Mr. Galactus, I want uh, I want it to be dark. I don't want to paint over everything I did there, though, so I'm just kind of letting it stretch out into that. And I'm really thinking about how dark can I make this without it getting too dark? Because I don't want to step all over Adam's airbrushing, okay? So as long as we can still see these details, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I remember when I started this and used a single layer for everything, it was wild. I used to paint on one layer too. It's it's just it just depends on what you're used to and what you're after and what you're doing and um my uh well I'm looking at this by the way. I'm looking at this on what you guys are seeing. And the background is actually a lot darker than I really want it to be. So what I'm going to do, or at least it's darker, you know what, I'm going to wait on that, because those hands are going to be glowing, and uh, yeah, yeah, we'll wait. All right, so I've, I've got all of the, I did separate Galactus into his costume, I found some good reference for that, and, but I'm trying to figure out if I want to I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I'm thinking out loud. I'm gonna go ahead and shift surfer a little bit cooler where he's gonna be because that's gonna make uh, that's gonna really change the contrast on him going from that to that. He's he's the only cool thing on the page now. Um, so my theory is his, the light that he is uh, 
let's say reflecting here does he emit light do we know that how technical are we going to get here today <laughs> does does silver surfer emit light i don't read enough surfer to know you guys know if it's not x-men or if it's not spider-man like, i don't know what's going on I think he just reflects light. He's chrome. He would be reflecting a lot of light here. <laughs> if he's surrounded by lightning. And then these sections are quite, quite pink, aren't they? If I do that, is he going to look like he's got a hole in his chest? Probably so. Yeah, I'm going to have to change that background, I think. Maybe. Let's see what happens if we... I'm not opposed to it, actually. I don't hate it. <laughs> Especially when we start throwing all the blue lightning around. Let's see, these gloves are also pink. Do I want to do that, or do I not want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. At least not that. Let's see, what, where, what are we doing here? For anyone trying to follow what's going on, just uh, I'll figure it out in a second. <laughs> I'm I'm still checking reference too. So I'm trying to decide how much I want to let the local color come through if I want it to come through at all. Because let's see. Maybe we just get a little bit there. We're going to have a lot of color holes in this background, too. Up until now, I've had my flats in a folder with each part cut out. Then I control-click them for selections. That is one way to do it. <laughs> in Procreate, that's a little bit more helpful because it's it's really limited and you can just two fingers select. I used to do that some but but still it was just like maybe foreground is on a layer, middle ground, background, but but not but not everything. All right. We're getting there. I think what I'm going to do next, I don't normally do next, but I want to see what I'm working with. And there's a, there's a lot of this lightning here. And so I'm going to make a selection for all of that so we can I can start manipulating uh, that. Also, and do, 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 do. cooling off his skin a lot. I don't really want it to be warm.
But yeah, let's start tracing out some of this uh, lightning. I'm going to do this on a layer on top. And then once this is in there, it'll give me a better idea of what I'm, uh, what I'm, what I've got to work with in the lightning, because I think I need to see that. And I'm doing this on top of the lines. Um, and the way that I'm making this these selections, I probably won't actually leave them like this. Um, I will actually just use this as a selection. Because I'm kind of going heavier than what he did on his... Uh, in his version. But I'll use this um, to... Uh, get the lightning the color I want and stuff later. That'll, that'll, this'll, it'll make sense later, maybe. <laughs> mm, can't do that trick. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why am I sitting in the dark? I think it just looks dark. I mean, it's not bright in here, but it's not, it's uh my camera's just trying to expose so you can see me. Um I have blackout curtains. Uh, on my window and uh, that's how I like it it's really not for any I mean it's not for anything artistic or technical strictly, strictly psychological Yeah, that's going to look really cool. So, so my my theory is later on, let me see if this is even going to work. Yeah, like we can sort of control how much of that comes through here and there. And it's not all the same exact, you know, thickness or whatever and anyway, you can kind of dress it up and play with it. And to me, it's easier to get more subtle stuff that way than than uh, than what I was doing. But I think that'll work. And I, now I know what we can do there. Um, let's see. What do I want to do next? I guess I should go ahead and finish since I'm halfway there. <laughs> oh, let me make sure I'm the right color.
Yeah, what's funny is I'll probably end up retracing a lot of this <laughs> at the end. But at least with this, I can play around and figure out the colors and all of that. And can make this more subtle later. Imagine doing this with an Intuos. And that was like the first seven years of my career. I don't have to imagine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't get a Cintiq until pretty far in. Because, boy, are they expensive. <laughs> Yeah, it looks better under the inks, too. <laughs> yeah, I'll end up doing a little bit on top and below, probably. Before we're done here, anyway. All right, is that most of our lightning? I think so. All right. The first thing I'm gonna try here, I'm gonna make a couple of selections and make a levels adjustment. I want this to be pretty bright. About right there. And then I want to lean this a little. Let's see which is which. That goes cool. That goes warm. So warm it up a little bit. And in the background. I want to brighten some of this up through the center. Again, like kind of around that silhouette on him, like uh, his edge there, so you can kind of see that a little bit better. Let me kind of right down through the middle. Yeah, so that kind of pulls his silhouette forward some. Still not a very bright color, so. Go a little bit brighter. 
writer. Yeah, the glows on the lightning are going to change this quite a bit. And so maybe I get some of that in here now. Maybe. I'm 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 thinking. Yeah, my wife thinks I'm a vampire too sometimes. I'm better than I used to be. But it does help keep, keep things consistent in here. But there's a door here and there's light coming. I can see sunshine out there. I promise I'm not a total vampire. <laughs> when you're coloring on books, do the artists normally send you 300 or 600? Um, some three, some four, some six. It's kind of all over. I don't like working on 600. I, I usually will lower it to 400 and then do the colors. And then if they really want it back in 600, I'll use the original 600 DPI inks and upscale 400 DPI colors underneath. Nobody knows the difference. And then they get their 600 DPI file. <laughs> I went to grab food. This is already looking insane. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. This is an insane one. And I think that was exactly what Adam said. It was like, yeah, it, could, it should sort of be insane. I'm like, okay, good. Because I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking insane. What I'm wondering, I was trying to see what that looks like, but yeah, what I'm trying to figure out is do I want, let me see, do I want like the traditional Galactus, you know, uh, pink light or where is blue? You see what I mean? I think we want blue unless we like, flip the whole background. I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. I think I'm going to do it just like this. If the comic book police come after me, I apologize. <laughs> we, can, we can always change it later, I guess. And I'm just trying to keep this real subtle. I don't want anything like crazy harsh in this part.
why not why well, don't like working at 600 dpi like i like i don't know it, it's just a speed thing you know there, there's a lot of if i'm sitting here like waiting on software to fill because the thing's 600 dpi like i'm not gonna wait <laughs> you know um it's one of those things that like like clip studio in particular runs terribly like big somebody said it i um uh, one of the chris's <laughs> um but yeah chris reader said uh some of the brushes are slow uh yeah and so if i was in photoshop more i probably wouldn't care honestly photoshop uses your gpu it i don't know has better memory management on the whatever it, it doesn't affect it as much um it still affects it affects it some though sorry my tongue is not wanting to work today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, where was I? Okay, we're getting there. Sorry, I'm thinking. I'm looking at all these. Uh, what you call it? These marks in the background. And I'm wondering if I'm going to need to lighten the background more. If I want to change the color of those. Because the background is like pretty max saturated I don't think I can do a whole lot uh, let's see do, 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 do. oh there's a little bit of contrast in there That actually helped. That helped a lot. Whoops. Looks like you're using an airbrush. I really need to start experimenting with other brushes. I think I've only used two on this one. Just a soft airbrush and a, there's a washi brush I use and that's about it. And sorry, right now I'm just sort of, I'm doing more thinking than coloring, I know, but I'm debating.
Sorry, bear with me, guys. I am in experiment mode. <laughs> oh, I did do some glows over there. Sorry, I'm also talking to myself a lot. Is that all? I'm just trying something. Give me a minute. I did put all that on that layer. Did not mean to. There we go. So yeah, my lightning has some other stuff on it that I forgot about. Oh well. I just feel like more and more glows make this look more and more crazier. I don't know if it's getting... I like it. I think I like it. <laughs> Some of this I'm going to tone down, but I, I wanted to see what else there was around there. Yeah, if we go cool, yeah, I'll probably do that later. Anyway, how are y'all doing? Isn't this exciting? <laughs> Sorry that I I don't, I don't think I know what I'm doing today. I think I forgot how to color while I was sick. Excuse me. All right, how's everybody doing? I'm getting a splitting headache all of a sudden. Probably because I haven't sat at this desk for a week. <laughs> My brain is like, what are you doing? Well, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I think I know what I want to do. I just don't know if I have. I want to do it right now. Um, what is a typical DPI used for printers? I th I don't I don't I think they I don't think they print it. I don't even know. There you go, three hundred. Tell you what, guys, I'm about to wrap this up for today. I apologize. I just don't feel good. Um, this is close to done. It needs some work. I don't know what it is, though. And my brain doesn't seem to want to work right now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.